Hey, what's up guys? Henry the Blazing here, and as you can see, we got Dan Marley. Now, this guy kind of looks like Big C Richie. Not trying to fire shots at Big C Richie. Just kind of thought it was kind of funny how he kind of looks like him, but a little bit more aggressive. But before we get into this video, for any of you new viewers, you know you've got to hit that subscribe button. You don't have to hit the like button yet. Not until you get to the end of the video and then figure out if you like it or not. I'm not going to force likes on you guys anymore. It's more on if you guys enjoy the content. But today, as you can see, we are reviewing 88 overall Ruby Thunder Dan himself, Dan Marley. Now, this card actually looks pretty, pretty nice. Right, let's go ahead and collect him. We're going to go ahead and review him, and we're going to actually compare him to Reggie Lewis, because I still think Reggie Lewis is the best shooting guard as far as the Ruby shooting guards in the game. But we'll check this guy out. So as you can see, he's a 6'6 shooting guard with a 93 defensive overall and an 84 offensive overall. So this guy, you can already tell he's going to be clamps. I mean, it's Dan Marley. So you can see that he's got a standing layup of an 87, driving layup of an 86. It's above average, which makes me happy. Draw foul of a 70 is not too bad. Could be a little bit better. As we continue to go down, you can see he's got a nice open mid-range of an 88 and a nice open 3 of an 89. That is definitely one thing he already has on Reggie Lewis right there. But as we continue to go down, he's got an average free throw of a 78. 70, anything under 80 in this game, to be honest, is pretty sketch. For those of you that have been playing the game, you can tell that the free throw isn't exactly the same as it was last year. Now, as far as ball control goes, he can definitely speed boost if you give him the right shoe with that 78 ball control. And as we continue to go down, his passing is fairly average, a little bit better than Reggie's. His rebounding, nothing too crazy. But here we go and we get to the defensive stats. 89 lateral quickness, 88 pass perception. Doesn't have the highest block as a shooting guard, but a 90 shot contest. He will definitely contest it. 79 steal, fairly average. But a 95 defensive consistency, 93 on ball, 91 pick and roll, 92 help defense, and even a 70 low post is pretty good for a shooting guard. So you can tell that he's an absolute clamp god. And because you go down and he can actually dunk. I was actually surprised when I saw this stat and I played with him in game. He's got a driving dunk of a 76, contact dunk of 45. So there might be the odd day where he might catch a body if he's feeling a little thunderous. But the one thing I don't like about him too much is his speed here. His speed is an 80, speed with ball 78, acceleration 79. I wouldn't even give him a ball control shoe for those of you that do decide to get him. Put it into speed. Clearly the white guy isn't too fast. I'm not trying to be racist. Just kidding around. But he's fairly strong with a 75 strength. So this isn't someone where you're just going to be able to blow by. Because as you guys know in this game, when you have high strength, you can literally just push someone out of the way and drive to the basket. Not this guy. He has a 95 stamina. Very amazing. I really do like the stamina in the game this year. 95 hands. He can catch the ball very well. And a 90 reaction time. So just right there, he's looking really awesome. For those of you that are wanting to see his tendencies before you pick him up, I'm just going to quickly scroll through them. You can see he has a 99 alley-oop tendency. But we're going to go through them really quick. Feel free to pause on places where you guys are willing to see stuff. I don't care for the tendencies too much. I look at that in my own time. So I don't need to waste your guys' time by people that don't care too much about the tendencies. Tendencies are really important in the game, though. For those of you guys that don't know about tendencies, if you do have any questions, ask me down in the comments below. But we're going to go ahead and take a look at his system proficiency. And as you can see, he's a very well balanced and defensive, which was no surprise at all. But he also does the grit and grind very well, which is my play style for my coach. 93 pace and space, 91 perimeter. He can basically do everything very well other than the triangle and the post centric. Other than that, for whatever coaches you have, you should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at his badges. Now you see that he comes with gold corner specialist, gold deep range dead eye, gold catch and shoot, gold defensive stopper, very nice, gold pick dodger, pretty good especially because they set some good screens in the game this year but not something I care for too much and gold pick pocket which is always nice, can't complain about that. One thing I have noticed with all the ruby rewards is that they all come with 6 badges as far as what I've had from collections, they all seem to come with 6 badges. And I believe he has four slots for adding badges, but I can't tell you that now because I haven't double checked. He has a ruby card, so he should have four extra slots. But just by looking at this card so far, you can see that he is a good two-way player, but more focused on defense. Whereas to all the other shooting guards, such as Reggie Lewis, he was more offensively focused. So for you guys that are wanting more defense on your team, I would obviously recommend 
recommend Dan Marley on your team over Reggie Lewis. But before that, I've already played a couple games, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into freestyle with him, show you his release, show you the different animations he has, and then we'll finish off our review on this card. All right, so here we are. We're just about to sub in Dan Marley, but seriously, look at that face and tell me that doesn't somewhat look like Big C Richie. Like Big C Richie, if you end up watching this, how can you not tell me that kind of looks like you? But anyways, we're gonna go ahead. Oh no, I canceled the substitution. We're gonna quickly sub him in here. And now that you can see he's on, we're gonna go ahead and turn on his hot zones. So one thing that's unfortunate about this card is that he's not really hot, but he's not really cold. He's got one cold zone at the three and one hot zone at the three. The card does feel really easy when he dribbles. He does feel a lot of a little slow at times, as you can see by how he moves around. He's not the fastest player. Again, that's the one thing I didn't like about this card was his speed. He can defend and look at that release. The one thing I do really like about this card is that his three point or just release in general, it's butter. It's a little bit slow as you can see by the way he comes up but it's not too slow that it's frustrating. It's slow enough where it's easy to time the release every time, and he doesn't miss very often. One of the more consistent shooters in the game, I used the Emerald version of him in 2K17, and he got me through domination for the most part. I look at him turn around knowing that shot's going in because he's a money ball, but the card, as far as dunking, he doesn't have like crazy violent dunks, but he will dunk. He occasionally dunks in game. He doesn't dunk as much as I would like him to in game, obviously. For the 75 driving dunk, I can't explain much, but for you guys, you know that Reggie Lewis dunks like crazy. I've posted multiple Twitter videos on Twitter, or sorry, multiple videos, not Twitter videos, but multiple videos on Twitter of him dunking. This Dan Marley, of course, if you want a defensive card, this is definitely the card to get. If you want a defensive shooting guard, someone who's going to turn defense into offense, you want to pick up this Dan Marley. You definitely want to give him a speed shoot if you do pick him up, though. If you're going to be playing defense, you're going to want to be able to fast break if they do get turnovers, and this man's going to have to be able to run down the floor. As far as going for layups, he does have good layup animations. The card plays really well. And for those of you that are wanting to see his dribble moves, I'm going to go ahead and get you the dribble moves here once they decide to give me the ball. Thank you. These are his dribble moves here. That's his size up. So nothing crazy. If you can speed boost, that can be really nice. And then boom, shoot off the dribble, three-pointer, pull it. Money ball. Let's go, baby. But yeah, as far as his hezo, it's nothing crazy. Everything else is pretty basic. Step backs, dribbles. He can't speed boost, so I'm not doing anything crazy. But you can see how much better he would be if he had a speed shoe. If you might actually find a speed and ball control shoe, then that is probably the perfect shoe for this card. But for those of you who do want a more defensive player, definitely pick this card up defensively he is amazing you put this on not maybe not the best player if you have like a I have Ron Artest so I have Ron Artest to put on people because Ron Artest has the balance of offense and defense that I need but if I didn't have Ron Artest I would definitely run Marley and then put Reggie Lewis at the three or something which is what I might do for my super max I'm still trying to build my super max team which I will make a video on that for you guys later but this Dan Marley really nice release I'm not greeting very many but I'm hitting very many that's what I like about this card very easy to hit shots as I finally missed there, but full white bar. I'm missing again, what? I just finished complimenting this guy's shot and then he misses. There we go, we got the green light now. Very nice release. As you can see, it's a little bit slow. So for those of you that like a quick catch and shooter, maybe clay might be the option but i would still say go get go ahead and get this dan marley not a very expensive card you're looking at spending about 10 to 12k on this card i believe is what i spent because the only expensive card that you have to pick up is eric bledsoe other than that every other card is under 1000 to 1200 and below and you can obviously snipe and get it for cheaper if you're a patient person then you can maybe get this collection for 10k is what i'd say because that the problem is trying to snipe that bledsoe bledsoe if you can actually get it for like 3k or 3.5 or 4k and below because i think he's going for a 4.9 right now so try to get him from under 4k i managed to snipe mine for 35 i've been getting lucky with the snipes i'm just super patient and it works out for me so now i've got myself a dan marley i do not regret completing this collection he's definitely gonna play a role for my team maybe off the bench now that i got reggie lewis Dwayne wade might have to sit on the bench bench but i just keep him mainly run him at point guard because he has that shack duo and gives shack a nice free throw but if you guys did enjoy this player review don't forget to leave a like on the video, and if you guys are new viewers again, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the Blazer Nation. I want to thank you guys for watching the videos. I want to thank you guys for the support recently. It's been awesome. Thank you, and take care.